stubborn one fish they got. And uh, Ronnie's got about 30 stomachs over there. These are all lake trout stomachs. All lake trout. You have a ton of fishies in that tournament. Dude, here keep going. There's more here. These two trout were living in different areas. Oh yeah? This one had nothing. Okay. And this one had nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness. So look at this. Look at, but just look what's going on here. This is really cool. We got one Lots. lake trout that's eating almost nothing but smell. We've got one lake trout that's eating almost nothing but sculpins. And over here we got the beetle trout. Ooh, it's eating Japanese beetles. Well, I know. some kind of yes. beetles. <laughs> So here we got the beetle trout. Oh my goodness. Those are Japanese. We had one in, in, in June that, that, that was packed with butterflies. Oh my goodness. Yep. Packed. This guy was a good eater. I brought that right out of the stomach. Hold it up. These lake trout are notorious for if it's out there, they'll eat it. One of the famous ones is corn cobs. People, you know, will have a picnic and throw their corn cob off the lake and you'll once in a while pick up a lake trout with corn cob. Really big fish. So, so do you have trout and do you have herring and smelt? Right, the big one is that and the little ones? Right. And those are the two major fish in Lake Superior that feed lake trout. These are caught off the dock here by Michigan Tech. They're mostly Bosmanias and Daphnias. But they're cool to look at. Some Coco Pots. Mm. Oh, look at this one. That's a little Nafia Coco Pot, huh? That's like a little baby. It's gonna grow bigger. You guys see this one? Kind of like a bubble, it's got his arms like this. It's what we call a curatella. They knock them around by the others. So this polyartha is a little bit more sensitive to, to heat and oxygen. So it's it's not doing as good as these guys. Here's the scatter bacteria again. So here, 